You guys have flooded my DMs wanting to know my thoughts on this palette that Trend Mood leaked. So, your wish is my command and here we are. Let's talk about the new mini eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath called Midnight Voyage. This is so interesting to me. I was really excited to pop on the camera and <laughs> talk about this. When I initially saw this on my feed, I thought it was an ABH Norvina mini palette. Tell me it does not look like that. It's that same kind of style of packaging. I think it looks kind of cheap-ish, like not Pat McGrath. I honestly was shocked when I saw that this was a Pat McGrath launch. Does not look Pat McGrathy to me. And then you scroll, you see the swatches, the eye photo, and then obviously you know it's Pat McGrath. But the palette itself does not look Pat McGrath to me. It looks cheap to me compared to what we normally get from Pat McGrath. But I will say, if you go on the Sephora website right now, they do have it not available, but you can look at all of the details and whatnot. It's only $29. So it is kind of kind of cheap for Pat McGrath. It's not $128 like her big mothership palettes. So I'm excited about this in the fact that you're able to get already existing shades from Pat McGrath at a much more affordable price point. I think this definitely makes Pat McGrath more accessible to the average makeup consumer who does who does not want to spend $128 on a palette. It, it's not the Pat McGrath aesthetic. It looks cheap to me. I thought it was ABH. Uh, but the concept of it, I'm not mad about it because I feel like this is something that will allow many of you who've been wanting to try Pat McGrath and experience that be able to experience it. I think she'll probably come out with more colors of these. This is my prediction, but online, if you go on the Pat McGrath website, they have it at the very bottom right now. It's coming according to Trend Mood to Sephora exclusively on June 11th, so I will link it when it's available. And they say it is a mini mirrored eyeshadow compact inspired by Pat's most loved shades and textures. So it's a limited edition mini. So if you do want to, just keep in mind that it is limited edition. I think it will either go over really well and sell out or they won't be able to get it off the shelves and <laughs> at some point if you wait you'll be able to get it at a deep kit discount for like an amazing price. I've seen that happen with mini palettes of a different style from Pat McGrath before so maybe you want to risk it or maybe you just want to pick it up but it is limited edition supposedly and it features five of Pat McGrath's most loved eyeshadows. There are six shades in here, five of which are existing. So I have them and I'm gonna swatch them and I'm gonna do a tutorial with them today. And then there is one new shade. So my thoughts on the repeats, I mean, I'm a little like, as a Pat McGrath collector myself, I'm like, oh, I wish we were getting new shades because I can't get enough of Pat McGrath. However, I know for 99% of the people who aren't crazy like me, <laughs> this is actually a really great opportunity for you to try the palette out. So again, you see the purple packaging, which I love, and I'm also very excited that this is a purple palette launch. If you're new here, I love purple palettes, okay? Purple eyeshadows is kind of my go-to if I'm gonna do a colorful look, and I want, I am dreaming of a 10-pan Mothership palette that is all purple. This is not a Mothership palette that's all purple, but I think it's a great curation of a a purple palette from Pat McGrath and I think it's the closest I'm gonna get for a while. So looking at the packaging, it doesn't look that impressive to me. I like that it's a light purple, but whatever, I think the price is really great, you know? There's a lot of six pan palettes from like Urban Decay, I don't know why I'm blanking, but there's a lot of six, five, four pan palettes on the market right now that you can get at a similar price point. And the fact that this is Pat McGrath, I think makes it a good value. In terms of the size, I don't know because I was messaging with one of you guys and there seems to be inconsistencies. Oh, by the way, I just saw that this is going to be available exclusively on the Sephora app June 11th. So make sure you have the app. So it says that all of this is three grams of product, which would make each shade 0.5 grams of product. Hold on, I need to compare. Okay, let me make a correction. 
So on the photo that I'm showing you right now, that is the photo on the Sephora website of the whole package that I was looking at giving the grams. But if you scroll down to the bottom of the Sephora page, which is what I missed, it says 6x and that amount. So I believe it should actually be 18 grams of product overall. But you guys, at the same time, like a Charlotte Tilbury large palette is 9.8 five grams of product which would mean that the pat mcgrath palette is either like a ton of product or none at all and knowing pat mcgrath i'm gonna go with the none at all option but i have no clue <laughs> if somebody knows help me out i'm still not 100 percent sure until i have the actual product in my hand but the website description and the photo say something different work with me here as i try and figure it out <laughs> i pulled out a pat mcgrath quad this is the risque rose if you're curious each pan in here is 1.72 grams of product you guys i really don't know if the whole palette only contains three grams of product or if it's three grams per pan so then that would mean that that pan in the quad would be less than what is in the mini palette i don't know can somebody explain this to me Am I being dumb? Am I missing something here? And then I also pulled a little quad from Viseart. All together, this is six grams of product. Just these four shades. Hmm, that seems off. Because if the Pat McGrath six pan is three grams all together, I mean, that means it's going to be a small palette. But this is tiny little four quads and it is six grams. So either the size of this palette is minuscule and you'll hit pan in two swatches or there is a mistake i don't know so for those of you asking if i'm gonna pick it up if i did not have a youtube channel but i had the collection that i had like no i would not it's great to get pat mcgrath shades and quality for 29 dollars because that way you can bring those shades with you to travel because i'm not taking a mothership palette with me these are big and weighty and too expensive <laughs> to travel with so this is a great way to get pat mcgrath shadows travel friendly but you know i wouldn't be buying it if i did not have the collection that i have currently and i did not do youtube this is definitely something that i would be interested in now I do have the collection that I have, but I also have a makeup review channel. And Pat McGrath is like my shtick, you know? Of the last, I believe, four videos I've posted, three of them have been based on Pat McGrath. Just saying. So I will be picking it up to review for you guys. I'm interested to see the size of this palette. That is the main reason. I want to see the size, see if there's different formula comparisons. So yeah, I will be picking it up to review, but it's not something I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to get my hands on this. I'm so excited now because I have the shades. Let's get into the shades and then I'll do a little tutorial. So there are swatches on the website right now and you'll see them right here. Pat McGrath swatches are always photoshopped okay <laughs> keep that in mind but three of the six shades are actually in the mothership five bronze seduction palette which i believe is not factual but i it's definitely one of her best sellers it's one of the only palettes available at sephora right now as well and it's the one that i've convinced most of you to buy so <laughs> under that background knowledge i would say most people probably own this palette if you own any of the mothership palettes the first shade that you'll see in the lineup of swatches is right here skin show divine glow this is a very pretty and versatile shade and i'll swatch them in a second but we also have extreme aubergine which is a shade right here so i don't know already this first half of the palette is this new midnight voyage palette now this shade i find somewhat difficult to blend I don't know. It's not my favorite matte shade, but it, it feels really nice right now. But I have struggled with blending this in the past. And then the third shade that's in this palette is Entrapment. So I think it is really interesting that just the beginning of the entire palette is in this little mini palette. And not the most exciting shades. I think they are necessary shades for the type of look that you get with the Midnight Voyage palette but they're not exciting and none of the shades in here are a blitz astro formula so keep that in mind but let's swatch these so this is skin show divine glow extreme aubergine yeah it applies how it looks i'm telling y'all i don't like the shade that much 
and then Entrapment, which is a very good shade. So those are the first three shades. Next up in the lineup of swatches, you'll see we have Eleganza, which is one of the most fun names. I just, I love saying Eleganza, but this is from the Divine Rose 2 palette. Eleganza is this shade right here. It looks more brown on the swatches online, but I think it has more pink to it in person. This is one of my all-time favorite shades from Pat McGrath, by the way. If the quality is reflected in the Midnight Voyage palette, you will not be disappointed. Ugh, yes, but do you see how this looks so much more pink than in the online swatches? But yeah, this is like liquid metal. It is one of my all-time favorite shades, period. And then we're gonna skip number five and go to number six. We have Night Creature. So Night Creature is already in the Mothership 3 Subversive palette. So this is one of the very first palettes. And it's this shade right here, which is really gorgeous. I've done some stunning looks with this palette. Look at that. It's a little on the drier side. It's not the most creamy. Maybe that's because of age or maybe that's just what the shade is like, but it's super gorgeous on the eyelid. So these are five of the six shades of the palette. And yeah, it's a very intuitive, easy palette to create a purple eye look. We're gonna move it back to number five, Bronze Venus. So this is a new shade exclusive to this palette. Though I swear she has a shade that looks like this in her other palettes. This does not scream unique to me. But I did pull a color that I thought could be somewhat similar. I, I would need to see it to be able to tell. I'm not very good at duping based on photos. A newer palette that has come out that's pretty popular is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. And I feel like this shade right here looks close to the swatch. You know, it's that like fiery orange red, has some gold glimmers to it. I feel like this could be a close match. When I get the Midnight Voyage palette, I'm gonna do a side by side to see how off I was. But generally speaking, I would say this is the vibe of the palette, right? We have the six shades here. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty, I think it's a nice roundup of shades for a mini palette to get a complete look, which I think is important in the mini palette. So I like the curation that she did here as well. I, I really do think it's nice. So without further ado, let's get these shades on the eyeballs. I'm gonna do one eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, Pat, the look is good. It's a good curation, let me just say that. From Bronze Seduction, we're gonna go ahead and take some of Entrapment. I'm gonna focus this color on the outer half of the eyelid. This is a BK Beauty 201 brush, by the way. And let's blend that out just a little bit. I'm gonna put that on in the lower lash line as well. Keeping it more towards the outside again, you can see that this is just a beautiful staple shade. It's not unique, but if the quality is the same, and this palette is a couple years old, so actually no, this is a newer palette. I got it like last year. Okay, never mind. I take it back because I've replaced some of the palettes that have gotten old, but still this palette's a little dry sometimes, I feel like. But anyways, that's nice. <laughs> I like this one. Then we're going into Extreme Aubergine. I have to say, Extreme Aubergine was on her best behavior today. I'm not having trouble with it today. I think it just depends in what capacity I use it in because the other day when I used this, I didn't like it because I had used it all over my lid for like a purple smoky eye and then I had to blend out the corners and edges and all of that and it just wasn't behaving how I wanted it to behave. I'm using it in a much smaller area of the eye today so it's still behaving better. I'm gonna take a Sonia G Soft Definer brush which is a little smaller than the brushes that I've just used just to really build up that color because I do want it to be a little bit more on this smoky side. And this is a Luxie 229, by the way. This is one of the best outer corner br brushes to blend. You can see I'm keeping most of the lid blank. I just want the smokiness in the outer corner. Okay, see, now you can see the misbehavior happening. Just a little bit right there. Hopefully it, the quality is improved in the new palette. Maybe it's just my palette. I don't know. <laughs> It's disappointing though for how much I spent on this and it's one of my favorite palettes of all time We'll use some eyeshadow to cover that. I'm going into Divine Rose 2 and we're gonna use Extravaganza Which is one of my all-time Favorite eyeshadows. I had to use it. I almost didn't use it for the look But I need you guys to see I had to do this demo. Look at that. This is with a brush It is the most stunning color and it's so sophisticated like this look right here 
It's so perfect for an evening or a date night kind of situation. Love it. It's such a unique shade too. I really don't have any other eyeshadows that look like this. I'm quickly going to hop back into the bronze seduction and I'm going into Skin Show Divine Glow. And I'm using this as the highlight shade and I'm blending it in to add a little bit more dimension to the look. And I'm also going to pop that underneath the brow. Okay, and this I think is such a sophisticated kind of look but I had to go in and use Night Creature because it adds such a brightness to the look. Kind of the star of the show if you ask me. So I'm gonna grab it on my finger and I'm just gonna pop it and using this just right here in this area it mm, gives the look so much brightness and personality. I'm gonna put that down here as well. I mean like yes right? Okay let me pop on lashes and I'll meet you back here. So here is how the look ended up turning out with liner and lashes. I think it's a very beautiful look. Overall, I mean, the palette I think is a gorgeous curation. I'm very curious to see the size on it. But at the end of the day, I think this is a really great introduction to Pat McGrath. I think, you know, $29 isn't going to break the bank all at once. The colors that she put in here are really pretty and intuitive to use. You'll get a gorgeous purple eye if you like purples. So let me know, are you planning on picking this up? Are you excited for it? I can't wait to get my hands on it and see if the quality matches up, see what that new shade is like, and the size. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.